Hey guys, so this video is going to be all about making candy and caramel apples at home. Now, I opened up both these kits, but I haven't used them before. I just wanted to see what comes in them and try and figure out what I'm doing before I record this video. But this is going to be a first time for me, so I'm going to tell you what works, what doesn't work, and just use both these kits. Now, I'm going to use the caramel one first, and honestly, this looks so much easier. This makes five apples, and in the kit, you get the caramel all rolled out. So they're just these discs that you're gonna put over your apple and they actually come with the popsicle sticks. So that is great. I thought I was gonna have to go out and buy them but actually both kits come with sticks in them. So now let's make these ones first. Okay, so before you get started, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 200 degrees and then you're gonna to wanna to wash five medium apples. Now, I have a bunch of different apple sizes here. These ones are just way too large for the um, caramel circles. There's no way that's gonna fit around it. And this size looks more like a medium size, but at the same time, I think it's gonna be too big. So I also have these little kind of small apples. But basically, you take the circle disc off, and then you're going to press the caramel wrapping over, and you can stretch it out and just kind of coat the whole apple. It is very stretchy, so that's why I think actually this might be the perfect size, just because you can stretch it to make it fit nicely on here. Your apple is nicely coated. You're gonna put it on top of the little wax sheet that the caramel actually originally came on, and then take one of the wooden sticks and stick it inside the apple. Then just continue this process till all your apples are covered. So I finished wrapping all the apples and the caramel is actually very, very stretchy. So you could pretty much use any apple size, but I do think the first size that I showed was perfect. These little ones were almost a little too small, but the caramel did fit nicely around all of them. Now you're gonna wanna put your apples inside the oven and let it cook for five minutes and then let them cool before you serve them. You can also cook these in the microwave if you want them quickly or if you don't wanna use the oven. And all you need to do is put one to two apples in the microwave for 15 to 25 seconds. You know what, I'm actually gonna put one of them in the microwave so I can let you know how it goes. The rest of them I'm gonna bake. Hopefully it comes out good and I didn't just waste one of these. But this is the apple I ended up microwaving. There are little bubbles on it, but I think that's probably gonna happen when you put something in the microwave like this because 15 seconds definitely wasn't enough. 25, you can tell it started to melt a little. This was after 33 seconds, but the caramel is definitely a lot softer. You do need to let it chill and cool off before you can eat it, but I'm excited to try it. You can see the caramel is definitely very gooey at the bottom. So the caramel apples are all done. I think they look awesome. I did wait a little bit more than five minutes, though. It was about seven to eight minutes. But they are all perfectly done now. And like I said before, the first apple size I showed I think is best. So now you want to get a pod and bring one cup of water and two and a half cups of sugar to a boil and keep it on medium high heat and it says no stirring is required. Now I would say you should keep an eye on it. You don't want it to sit and boil for too long because then you are supposed to add the next ingredient once it starts to boil. So this is starting to boil. You want to wait a few more seconds till it begins to rapidly boil everywhere but since there's not that much water it does boil pretty quickly. Okay, so now that the water is boiling, you're going to want to pour in the sugar that came with the kit. Now you're going to want to let this boil for about 15 to 18 seconds. If you don't have a thermometer, then that's about how long you should wait. But if you do have a thermometer, you want it to get to 302 degrees. And they say if you don't have a thermometer, and even after the 15 to 18 minutes is up and you're not too sure if it's ready, what you can do is you can take a little bit of this syrup and drop it in cold water and it should harden into a brittle thread and that's how you can tell if it's ready. So this thermometer doesn't go up to 300 degrees but it is way past 200 right now so that's how I can tell that this is almost ready. This is what it looks like on the inside. Okay. 
And then you just want to place the apple on a greased cookie sheet to dry. And you don't want to put it on the fridge, you just want to let it harden in a cool area. And just continue this now for the rest of the apple. What I know works really well is if you tilt the pot a little bit, you can really coat the entire apple. Now, obviously, right now I'd be turning the apple around, but since I only have one hand to do this all with, it is a little hard to show. But tilting the pot like that will really let you get the top of the apple covered in the candy. Okay, so the candy apples are all done, and I ended up just dripping some extra candy that was left over, like extra syrup, on the top of the apples. Now, I was able to make three really large ones and then two little ones, but there's no way you could be able to make ten apples if they were this huge size. You might be able to make seven if they were medium size, but I basically used all the candy. I mean, there was a little bit left, and I mean, there is a lot on these apples, but... I really don't think you'd be able to make 10 unless they were kind of small to medium sized apples. And one thing that I didn't like was on the directions it says to remove the syrup from the heat, but I noticed that it would harden way too quickly. So I would recommend keeping the syrup on the heat while you're dipping the apples, otherwise it just gets hard way too quickly and you won't be able to coat your apples nicely. But they're all done, it's been only a few minutes and they already started to harden. So both the apples are all done, here's the caramel and the candy one. They were both really easy, I knew the caramel one was going to be easy because it was just that little sheet, but I was worried the candy apple was going to be really hard because there was like the stove top directions and it looked like there were a lot of steps, but both were very very simple and quick. And the only thing is I guess if you are younger you would need parents permission or maybe parents supervision to use the stove because I did almost burn my hand at one point. I mean, I was, I guess, not super careful, but overall, they were both very, very easy, and I'm going to try one of them right now. I'm going to try the caramel one first. So the caramel one is really, really good. The only thing is the apple still is a little warm, so I would recommend maybe waiting an hour or a decent amount of time before you have them, maybe letting them sit overnight because it's a little warm the inside, but I love caramel and I think this one is absolutely amazing. I love how easy the caramel one was to do. I'll try the candy apple. It's going to be kind of hard to eat though because I do have this giant ring of candy around it because I did pour a decent amount of candy on these apples. I figured I didn't want to make 10 apples because that would just be a lot for my family to eat, so I figured I would just make less but put extra candy on them. And like I said though, there's no way you can make 10 apples that are um, normal size apples with that kit. There's just not enough. So I'm going to see how to eat this. So the candy apple is really good. The only thing is the apple kind of tastes like it's baked right now. Like it's very, very warm. But the candy is good. I do really like it. Um, I love candy apples. These are like my favorite. But I would recommend letting these apples sit a lot longer. But just for this video, I wanted to try them right away so I can get this video up and edit it. But overall, definitely recommend checking out both of these. Very easy to do. And you can get them, I think, almost any grocery store. I will look them up online to see if I can find any um, online websites that sell them for you guys that don't have them at your grocery store. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.